What is going on, guys? It's your boy Mod Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the top seven Nissan Sentra mods that you can add to your Nissan Sentra to have a fully custom modified Nissan Sentra. And someone sent me this video. I'm really excited about it because it's probably one of the sexiest videos I've, or it's probably the sexiest Nissan Sentras I've seen on the interwebs. And I guess without further ado, we'll just get right into the list of modifications. So. The first modification that you need to be doing to your Nissan Sentra is you need to be tinting the windows. Let's see if we can get a side view of this Nissan Sentra and uh, maybe we can pause it and just ensure that they're tinting the windows. Yes, you can see it up there and you're going to have to check your local laws to see like, you know, because some states have weird laws when it comes to window tint. You know, you have to have super light here in the upper Midwest where I'm at. And we can only have like 50% legally on the side windows of like a sedan. It's ridiculous. But because this is a four-door sedan, this is this is the car before it was modified, by the way. So this is going to give you a before and after. And um, I like the little logo there in the corner, JDM Legends. So number one modification for your Nissan Sentra is window tint. This is uh, a simple answer because this is a four-door sedan. Look at this. Let's just pause this. Look at how sleek this white one looks. See how murked out that thing is? And if you have a white car, if your car is, if your Nissan Sentra is white or black, window tint is going to make it pop extremely because like, uh, obviously you can see here, the white on black look is sexy in itself. And uh, what sucks about white though, is you're not going to get away with having as dark a window tint as you would with a black car, but it is what it is. Let's go back here. And uh, the second modification that is going your, your Nissan Sentra needs is wheels and tires. You'll notice all these sexy modified Nissan Sentras, they all have uh, aftermarket rims and tires. And it looks like a lot of them are out of Florida. Your boys be living sharp in Florida, huh? Oh, look at these eyelids. That's kind of crazy. I like that. I've never seen that. Actually, no, I'm kidding. I have. <laughs> um, so the, the second modification is wheels and tires. I think these are stock wheels. Am I right or am I wrong? You'll have to hit me up in the comment section. And I want to say with this Nissan Sentra, most guys are going in between like 17 inch and 19 inch wheels just because it's a, uh, that's, you know, this isn't like a huge massive car or anything, but the third modification is going to be lowering spring. So let's go back and play this. By the way, guys, I want to give a shout out to the owner of this channel. It's KDM. Shout out to him. So if you want to, uh, him or her, if you want to give this channel a subscribe, go ahead and do so. Someone sent me this to react to. I usually don't do videos on like a lot of Nissans. So this is kind of cool. So like I said, the third modification your Nissan needs is lowering springs. You could spend a little bit more money, get some coilovers, but they're going to be like drastically more expensive than lowering springs. And I feel like for the money, lowering springs will lower the Nissan Sentra like adequately, you know, because it's all you really need is two or three inches unless you're like trying to get super, super low, low. Um, But yeah, guys, window tint is number one. Number two is rims and tires. Number three is lowering springs. Like you're in this maybe like, uh, well, the rims and tires are expensive, but the window tint's probably going to be on average like uh, two to $400. The rims, uh, you could maybe try to get used rims if you want, but it kind of sucks. Uh, I, I always advise people just to go with like brand new wheels and tires. Uh, I've dealt so much with just crappy tires and the people, the people lie to you. They're like, yeah, man, these things run straight as ever. And then they don't. It just, it's annoying. And a lot of times when you buy wheels from these manufacturers, they'll give you a payment plan and they'll tell you like everything you need to know about the wheels that you need for your Nissan Sentra or for any car for that matter. So, um, yeah, let's go back to the video. We will play it. Uh, so we have tint rims, lowering springs. The next one is going to be exhaust. I know that, you know, the tuner, all these tuner cars like this, these Nissans, the Hondas, the Subarus. Uh, one of the one of the fastest ways to get your car to be sexy is to add exhaust. That's not a really corny. I don't know why, but so do some research. You know, some of these cars you can literally like just straight pipe them and do a muffler delete, and they sound good for on on a budget. But if you actually want it to sound ah, there there's an exhaust pipe right there. We missed it. Um, but if you actually want it to sound decent and not like too gnarly, I would advise getting yourself a muffler. And you know, a lot of times they're not even that expensive. So. There's, there's a muffler right there. Or actually, this car, I think, has weird, like, dual mufflers or something like that. God damn, that headlight is sexy. This is a... Um, that brings me to the next modification is headlights for these Nissan cars. These Nissan cars, 
they have like crazy designs in the front of the car that like uh the whole car like especially like the Sentra, the Ultima and these cars just have the craziest headlights and if you can get yourself some like sexy aftermarket headlights like this it's going to make a big difference and i've noticed on, on a lot of these that are modified like this the nissan Sentras, they look so so sexy god look at this car we need to stop that all right so we talked about window tint this this car actually doesn't really have super dark tint we talked about rims and tires these wheels are two grand minimum super deep dish wheels sexy we talked about the lowering springs. This boy's on coilovers, I can tell, because this is like super low, low. And we talked about exhaust. That's in the back. We talked about the headlights. Um, I'm betting that some of these aftermarket headlights for these Nissans are a pretty penny. Like, it kind of reminds me of like the Cadillac headlights that cost like absurdly expensive. Because if you look at them, they're like super intricate. You know what I mean? They have just like tons of stuff on the inside. And... um. That brings me to the next modification, though, guys. This is the number six mod, and it's the grill. Uh, this this grill in this car is sick, and uh, I'm guessing that there's only there's probably over a hundred different types of grills for these cars. This almost looks like a, a mesh grill, a bullet grill they might call, or a billet grill, um, honeycomb. I mean, they have tons of different styles. God dang, this thing is sexy. Like I said, guys, this is these are the sexiest um modified nissan centers i could find oh boy look at this um so is that the same car i'm confused is it the same car yeah it is it is the same car just in a different situation yeah because it has like that pink style wheel sorry i'm just losing my mind and you could get some uh some other modifications it might be like these vent shields this is it looks like a decal or actually this might even be like some weird wide body kit i don't know is that a wide body kit I can't tell. And it's got this sexy rear spoiler. Let's not forget about this. This is really sexy. Um, I think the license plate cover is probably a troll. Yeah, this has got to be a body kit because you can see the vents in it. See the vents right there and the vents right there. And guys, uh, that was uh, this modification. The next one is a body kit. And the sixth modification was the grill. Uh, we just noticed this car has a full on body kit. It's super. It's done up super clean, though. I don't know if it's necessarily a wide body kit, but I'm guessing they have a handful of different kits for these cars. Hit me up in the comments. Do you guys like this exhaust? Does the Nissan Sentra exhaust come stock like this? I don't think it does. That's crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit burning up your time here. So to recap this, we got tint. We got wheels and tires. We got lowering springs. We got exhaust. We got the sexy headlights. We got the grill and then the body kit. And this is like, this is just the start of it all because literally we haven't even talked about motor modifications yet. Look at those headlights. Like that's super, super sexy. I don't care who you are. If you don't like uh, modified cars, what are you doing here? No, I'm just kidding. Hit me up in the comments. Do you guys like tuners or do you guys like muscle cars? Like uh, I like all realms of the car hobby. It doesn't really matter what it is. Guys. These are your top seven modifications for your Nissan Sentra. Hit me up in the comments. Again, go check out that channel if you want to subscribe to their channel. I'm just reacting here to it. And uh, have yourself a great day. Oh, and send me links uh, to videos that you guys want me to react to. Because that's what we do on this channel. All right.